Yay! Welcome everybody to the final live show of 2023. It is the Crafters TV Christmas Party Craft Bowl. Yay! Woo! 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 It's going to be amazing. We're pumped. We're ready to go for what is going to be a fantastic couple of hours. Let's be honest, right? We have got some great deals for you here. As far as the kind of um, deals are concerned, what we've done is we've bundled together some of the best deals from the Craft Bolt shows that we've done in 2023. So it's kind of like a best of as far as the deals are concerned. All I will say to you is we will try and get in as many deals as we can over the course of this show in and amongst all of the fun and festive frivolity. Um, but you can check out the deals, head to the Shop the Show page on the website, Shop the Day page, you'll see all of the deals right there. But there are some great deals to be had. We're also here to have a lot of festive fun with you. Um, just before I introduce you to my crafty partner in crime uh, over the course of the, oh indeed, yes, crafty rival. Yeah, enemies is quite a strong word. My Frenemy. She spoke. <laughs> what did you call yourself then, Michelle? A frenemy. I like that. Frenemy. Friend and enemy. Yes. Yeah, because we're going head to head, aren't we? Here we are. We're going up against each other. The gloves are off. What? The gloves are off. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Seconds out, round one. Um, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a... I don't actually... So, but anyway, here's, here's what's happening. We've got four games to play over the course of the next couple of hours. We don't know what the game. We don't know what the games are, but what will happen very, very soon, in a little while? Um, I will go over to the wall, and over on the wall, there is an envelope. Bring it on the wall. Uh, we'll open up envelope number one for the first game. In that envelope, it will tell me and Michelle what the game is. We will then play that game, and whoever wins the game will have first choice of the crafty product behind that number all right so as you can as you saw behind number one there we've got um card, i mean goodness me whoever gets that small pile of <laughs> cardstock because it is very shiny um behind that number two game we've got again two 12 by 12 um pads to choose from behind the third game there's um a box of all sorts isn't there i think the um uh is it, what's it called? Happy Christmas, I think, the, the boxes you've got over there. And then the last Home game... Home for Christmas. Huh? Home for Home Christmas. Home for Christmas. And then the last game is um, playing for red liner tape or the glue tape pen. And I've already said to Michelle, I have to win that game. I have to win that fourth game. Because if I end up getting the red liner tape, that is my enemy. Because <laughs> I, it is. I mean, it's, we may as well just cancel the show there. Um, so we'll each battle away in the four games. We will end up with... Um, a few crafty items. Um, I think to work with, we've then got a pair of scissors and a glass mat, and then it will be down to us to create whatever it is. I think I know what it's gonna be. Hey, you, this is your first time on the Christmas party show, isn't it? It is. So excited. Yeah. Do you, so excited. Have you watched it? Do you kind of know what to expect? Well, I did see it last year. Yeah. I saw you and Craig with the crowns. And, yes. Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, so I'm very excited. Not competitive at all, you know, best man wins and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking by the end of the show, it, we will see, we will be making something. It has been a, certainly a crown the last two years, potentially three, but it's all to play for. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, let's say hello to a few people. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We hope as well as we play the games, whatever they might be, that you guys um, play along as well over the course of the show. Um, I will obviously move my tablet to the side so I can't see any of the answers coming in because we don't want any cheating. We want it all done by the book. No cheating. Phone switched off? No. It's over there. Okay. Uh, yeah. No smart watches? Um, no. <gasps> you just... What? <laughs> no watch over here. <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, let's say a few hellos. Ben McCarthy's in saying good evening, everyone. Oh, hello. <gasps> Two exciting pieces of news. Oh, here we go. My chocolates are ready. Oh, yes, and um, what chocolates for people who weren't watching earlier? Um, they are orange creams. Ooh. Orange creams, they look amazing. And uh, my son Oliver rung me to say that he got um, an offer for university. <laughs> so I'm very happy. Um, he's doing um, film production. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. So very excited. Let's get him on board. <laughs> Um, Stephen Nicole says, evening everyone, let's get the party started. Emma Thoris says, good evening. Hi to Geraldine Siddiqui, who says, good evening everyone. 
Uh, Brenda K. Tapto says, Merry Christmas, everyone. I am ready to party from Kentucky. Uh, Carl S. Morris says, Hello, everyone from Arkansas, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, Lillian Quoxin saying, Hello, Ben, Michelle, and the crew. Karen Carter says, Hi, all. I'm looking forward to this last show. Ben, I'm still doing my Christmas crackers from earlier. Oh. Karen says she had 15 to make, I think. How many have yeah. you got left? How early was that? Was that wake up call or was that the last show? I think it was the last one. Mm. I think. Hopefully you're down to the last few. Uh, Ash Cambo says, happy Christmas and a very happy new year in advance. Thank you. Uh, Jane Adams says, hi again from a rainy Las Vegas. I'm wishing the CTV team and all the wonderful people I have met here a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now I can enjoy the show with the triple gingerbread muffin warm out of the oven. <coughs> Where's ours? You surely don't look that far away. <laughs> don't say America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi to Pat. He says, hi again from a cold and sunny New Jersey. Going to wrap some gifts whilst I watch the show. Christine Mahoney's in. Hello, Merry Christmas. Love to you all. Uh, Ash says, loving the Christmas jumper. Let's appreciate um, Michelle's sparkliness over there as well, everybody. <laughs> very <I'm> sparkly. <laughs> it's a very um, catchy cardigan you've got on there as well. It is. <laughs> Literally. It's a bit of a death trap, to be honest, because I've got this little hook and every time I move, I get caught on it, so I keep nearly falling. I'm clumsy as it is, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie like just said that's your handicap for the craft yes. off later on. Yeah. We'd we, we need to put her in a straight jacket, I think, to uh, give me any chance of winning Blindfold. that. Blindfold. I said blindfold. Blindfolded. Me. But then I worry about scissors and blindfold. Yeah. Blindfolding? Blindfolding. <laughs> Maybe not, then. Just uh, blindfold one eye. <laughs> Oh, I just take my glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Um, Sarah Brown says, hello, all as promised. I'm here wishing everyone a Merry Christmas from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you, Sarah. We appreciate you. Uh, Love Games, says Kim Rice. Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Um, there's so many people in. Jeanette Shirley says, looking forward to the fun. Kim's in. Alicia Gordon says, yay, good afternoon. And greetings from Arkansas. It's party time. Um, Caroline F is in, wishing us a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Um, hi to Gwenda G and Trish Nestel, Sandra Dundas, Zoe Carver, Kirsty D, Michael Adams uh, says it's party time. Who are you going to call? Ben Mosby. Diddly -diddly -diddly. Uh, hi to Helen Stewart. Good evening, Ben and Michelle and all the Crafty crew and Crafty addicts. Are we ready? Yes, we are. And Alicia says, um, uh, it's the dynamic brother and sister, master presenter, Ben, and card constructor, Michelle. Let the battle begin. Thank you very much. And Barbara R is in, as is Caroline F, and Fred171 from California. Are we, we're, we're going to part as friends, aren't we, hopefully, into the Christmas break? Yes. It's only a bit of fun, isn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> no, that wasn't, that was, put him up. <laughs> no, I wasn't wiggling my bum, I was, I was doing that. Anyway, before we commence with the games, let us remind you of the winter sale, which is currently on. Oh, and also remind you of, look at that, in case you didn't know, we have a little code. It is an extra 20% off code that you can use across the break. So it's uh, Merry23, M-E-R-R-Y, 23. You pop that in at checkout and you'll get an extra 20% off. Um, it, you can use it in the winter sale, you can use it in the outlet sale, standard T's and C's apply there, so things like machines I don't think it will work on, it won't work on like your recent launches as well, but what I would do is whenever you shop between now and, is it the 1st of January that comes off? 1st of January, then just pop that in at checkout, Merry23, that is the code, whack it in, and if it, if it can apply, it will apply. The winter sale still got 75, up to 75% off across a whole host of different um, items for you, and this again is just a bit of a look at some of those uh, amazing items. We've got some of the gnomes on there, we've got magazines, we've got the uh, Country Lane collection, still got in stock, oh, is that gone now? Wait, what, what pause, pause. Oh, they've both gone. I did say that they were a steal. The nesting squares and nesting circles, they've both gone. But you've still got, um, uh, what else have we got? Winter sale, 12 by 12 pads, pom-pom makers, collector's edition um, pens, totally Chiffney Lisa buddy bag. You've got wildflower cards. There's tons in there. There's tons and tons and tons of goodies um, to be grabbing. I think we've had about 30 sellouts so far. Um, and no... 
no doubt there will be more um, and more goodies to be added over the course of the next few weeks. Now, I get nervous now. You get nervous? <laughs> yes, very much. <laughs> so um, we're going to get ready for the first game. As I said, if you look along here, you've got these numbered envelopes. So we're going to open up envelope number one. In this envelope, it will tell us what the game is. Then Michelle and I will compete like two hardened gladiators um, <laughs> in whatever the game might be. And then whoever wins that game will get the choice of their cardstock for the craft off at the end. The other person will obviously get what's left over. Uh, and that's how it's going to work across all the shows. So game two for the, um, the paper pads, game three for the, uh, the box of goodies, and game four for the adhesive. Uh, the final game, of course, will be the craft off. I won all four games last year. And it still didn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. So uh, are we going to do it? All right. So here we go. I feel like it needs a... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm on tenter hooks. Oh, hang on a minute. What's this? And the winner of best presenter of the year is... <laughs> Be oh, no, it's not. <laughs> In Yuletide cheer, let questions chime. A Christmas quiz, a festive rhyme. Gather round with joy and glee. Test your holiday knowledge merrily. Apparently, it is 10 Christmas quiz questions. So, uh, and it will be whoever wins the choice of the cardstock, the A3 cardstock or the A5 um, cardstock. How do you feel about that, Michelle? Christmas quiz. Um, I, um, we've all seen me on Play Your Crafts Right, so um, I think Ben's definitely going to be taking his choice of card. But um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm quietly confident. Okay, okay. Well, I'm I'm saying nothing. I'll say a few few more hellos before we get into the game. Really quickly, Elizabeth Red joins us. All wishes Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to you guys as well. Barbara McNeil, uh, happy to be watching Ben and Michelle wrapping presents, creating cards. Mary Pat and Anne and Lynn Morton, Marianne Rosie, uh, and also Margaret Crook, who says Merry Christmas to everyone. All my crafty friends from Torquay and Devon, my uh, Shire. That it's lovely to have you all with us. Play along at home. I've moved my pad to the side there, so I can't I can't look at it. Um, you can play along, pop your answers in, see how you do. And at the end of each round, you can also get in touch and let us know uh, whether you would have beaten whoever the eventual winner might be. So, um, was that, we got a bit of music playing as well. Oh, I'm liking that. It's a bit snazzy. Um, so, question's going to come up, I guess, right? And we just write it down on our whiteboard. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. We, are if you that's ready? That's the question. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get that. Question one. Question are you one. ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, no, the answer was no. Oh. <laughs> uh, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, the very best of luck. Here's the first question. Is that, how many ranges does Santa have and can you name them all? Is that as in you put the answer down and then you just put yes or no? Or do you have to name them? <laughs> he has X amount. How many no. does he have? Have we got to write them all down for, for a point? Gee whiz. Surely is it a point for each reindeer, isn't it? Hang on, I mean, stop talking to me now because I'm trying to... Okay. It's a good job we've got music. Right, I'm done. Um. Surely it must be a point if you get it right and then a point for each reindeer. I think it should, well. <laughs> I, th I think that should be, you guys are gonna have to, yeah, because otherwise cause it's gonna be hard to, okay. Okay, and then you guys have got to keep track of the points. Okay. Are you ready? Do you want to go first? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are okay. you right. going to go? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Seven. Yeah. It's, I've got nine. Oh. 
I've got nine written down. Seven. Oh, I feel like I'm on countdown. OK, the answer is nine. Oh. Com Comet, Donna, Blitzen and Rudolph. I like my names better. Go on, what are your names? So we've got Dancer and Prancer. Yeah. Blitzen and Susie. Sharon, Bruce and Rudolph. Bruce? Linda? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie and Sharon. <laughs> on Susie, on Sharon, on Bruce and on Linda. <laughs> I just, I got to Dancer and Prancer and I'm like... Linda, the red-nosed reindeer, <laughs> had a very shiny nose. <laughs> Uh, it's 10-3, apparently, after after that first I game. Got, I got four. I got Dancer, Prancer, yeah. <laughs> Blitzen and Rudolph. Oh, four. Four. Thank you. And Linda and Sharon <laughs> and Bruce. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? OK. Uh, I don't know if we are no. ready. <laughs> not ready. <laughs> How many elves does Father Christmas have, and can you name them all? <laughs> OK, next question. In the Christmas song, Little Drummer Boy... What line comes after, come, they told me? Oh. Ah, oh, my board's wet. <laughs> I don't know whether you're writing something serious down or you're writing... <laughs> I don't know what you're writing. Hang on. Ah, oh, thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> oh, I just need that. It's getting hot in here. Um, have you got an answer? Yes. Go on. Pa rum pa pum pum. Pa rum pa pa pum. Yeah. Yay! Pa yes. rum pum pum pum. Point each. Okay. Are we ha is everyone doing well at home? That's what I want to know. Are you seeing some right answers come in there as well, Dean? He's saying yeah. He's not even looking. Okay. What is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time? Oi, 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 oi. Wow. That is... It's, oh, I don't know. Take your pick. Yeah. Are you writing that down as if you're like, you've got that? I think you'll find <laughs> what that is. I, I answer him with such confidence. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking at home? Pop your answers in, as you can see. I mean, it's turned off now anyway, just in case anyone's going, he's looking. Look, there's nothing on there. Um, <laughs> OK. Ready, go. Oh! <gasps> oh. The Grinch! Oh. The Grinch! No, I don't agree. <laughs> the Grinch! Oh, hang on, Jake. Oh, Jamie's going on at a pace here, isn't I he? know. Wait a minute. I love how we both did a Home Alone, though. Yeah, I know. Great minds. <laughs> what? Oh, no idea. Who knows that? It's a movie that I've only ever, like, seen bits of. I've never seen it... Is it...? I watched the Muppets version last week, but I'm pretty sure it's probably not the same time. I have no idea. I'm just going to... Is it Bruce Town? It's not that, but something. No. One second. Now I'm ready. OK, what you got? <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Town. <laughs> Sharonville! <laughs> well, I've got set similar. Christmasville. <laughs> I think you should give Michelle, Michelle a point for Sharonville. Bedford Falls? No, I I've mean, never have got that, no, ever. never <laughs> in a million years. Uh, it, it, there you go, that last question. Everybody's saying um, they thought it was Home Alone or Elf, not the Grinch. Did anyone get the Grinch in the comments? That's what I want to know. <sighs> Song was originally written for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bruce is coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> Which popular Christmas song was originally written for Thanksgiving? Um, uh, <laughs> I can't write for life. <laughs> That's a really. I, when you say, can I, can I, can I qualify here? Is this like 
As in like a Christmas like song, like a chart song or like a hymn? Or you're not allowed to tell us? Oh, it's a song. Um, uh, oh dear. Um, I can't think of anything. Um, how long have we got? Oh, oh, um, Jamie's a right taskmaster, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, I, don't, I can't even think of the name of the song, but this is wrong. Um, okay. But, but I think that's... Okay, I've done it. I think actually that's called the Christmas song. Yeah, I put chestnuts roasting. All I want for Thanksgiving is you! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, never! No, how? What? Yeah, because there's no mention of there's no mention of Christmas in it, is there? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run around! No, just like hey, jingle bells. Did anyone get that? I bet someone did. <laughs> no one did. got that. I bet someone did. <laughs> oh, that is a great shout. <clears throat> oh my gosh! In which state did the real life events inspiring the famous Christmas movie Miracle on 34th Street take place? Do you mean which US state or what kind of not like a drunken state. <laughs> Which US state did the real life events in? Oh my goodness me. Um, um, where's it actually set that one? Um, I don't. I don't think it is. I've gone for the sensible answer this time. Oh. It'll be wrong, but uh, <laughs> at least it's sensible. Well, I've gone for. I don't know what. So I think. Well, there you said New York in my ear. I thought it was like maybe Chicago, so I've gone Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Because it's a state, isn't it? Oh, New York, <gasps> there you go. Oh, boom. Yes, Michelle. 11-6. How, ah. how many more How many more in this round? Ah, oh, three more. Okay. Ah, oh. okay. I know this one. I don't. I think I do. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It wasn't Linda Bruce. <laughs> or Sharon or Susie. I can't write when you make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's what I'll do. I'll just tell I'll just tell Michelle loads of bad jokes during the craft off. I think I think I've got it. I haven't, and I haven't spelt it any way near what it's supposed to be. Well, but... if, if you think you spelt it wrong, I reckon you've probably got it right. <laughs> no, we do. Is it Tchaikovsky? <gasps> yes, it, well, it's sort of... I mean... <laughs> yeah, just hold yours up again. You only missed off the T, haven't you? Off the start. Oh, and a K. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you've got to get a point for that. Absolutely. Yeah, Tchaikovsky. That, I was writing it phonetically. That is that is all good. That's all good. Uh, speaking of the Nutcracker, what is the name of the main the main character? Oh. Isn't the um the main character? I can't wait to see what your answer is <laughs> <from> this. <laughs> Ooh, uh, can we have a clue? Oh. oh. It's, we just saw, um, Bruce is just, Bruce. I've got Bruce <laughs> on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Dean has just said it's a girl. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have you got an answer? Nearly. <laughs> Are we having the best time or what? <laughs> I don't actually know the answer to that. I can't write. <laughs> <laughs> Linda! <laughs> Mrs. Nutcracker. <laughs> 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 I can't see. What does your oh, say? Oh, it's not right. <laughs> oh, it's close. Oh. Mrs. Nutcracker. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Still got two. I thought there was two more, two more ago. In a song, Frost the Snowman, what a Frosty's eye is made out of. Ah. Uh, no. Okay. I don't know why I've written, they are made out of. 
<laughs> Why have I done that? Are you good? Yes. Go on. Oh! <laughs> That's right, right? Yes, I think <laughs> loads of people would have got that. And this is this the last one? What's the score? 13 8. Okay, so <laughs> just. Oh, cool, tip. Which American animated television special first aired in 1965 and has since become a beloved Christmas tradition featuring characters like Charlie Brown and Snoopy? Well, isn't that the name of the show? I thought it was called Ch Charlie, Brown. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy show, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which American animated TV special first aired? Uh, is that a trick question? Oh! Yeah, um, well, I'm going to put this because. Okay, I think. I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> no, because I know what the comic strip is called, and I just wonder. Oh, it's. It's right on the tip of my tongue. The Linda and Bruce show. <laughs> Write that down, it, it's worth five <laughs> points, this as well, so you can tie the round. <laughs> We're never going to get this done before. They, they're this afraid, because we've got four games. It's like, we've got to sell some stuff as well. It's like, we are, we're fine. <laughs> Let's just play the games. Um, <laughs> have you got an answer? <laughs> no. I think... I, 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 cause that's I, it! Peanuts, is it? it it's, that's not the answer, though. Oh, come oh, on! I was going to write that as well. <laughs> a Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> Is that actually right? If I write that now, does it count? Yeah, we'll give you the point. We'll give you the point. <laughs> yeah. You but, can give me the point, I've still lost. <laughs> um, is that 13 to 9? Yeah. So that's the end of the first round, right? So I've won the first game. How do you feel, Michelle, about um, <laughs> your knowledge of Christmas? I think it is a very deserved win for Ben, but I do think that I should get some sort of bonus point for unique answers. OK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, not that, I mean, not that it really matters what crafty item I win. I, I'm, I'm just more in this for trying to win the four rounds. I'm not bothered about the last round, but I'm, gonna, I'm obviously going to go for the big card stock. Um, so do you, so thank you. I won the. I'll bring this over to you, shall I? Here we go. <laughs> there you go. I mean, how on earth? You might just have to stick that to your head. I don't, thank you. I don't know. I'm so, sure I can. I'm sure I can do. Ooh, there's what? buttons in there as well. Oh, Ooh, look, at look at all the different colours. Oh, I didn't even look. <gasps> oh, look at all the different colours in there. Look, this is going to be my hat. Watch. I, I'm going to get a bit of glue, 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 stick. <laughs> Will that win, do you think? You look like something out of Little House on the Crown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, um, we'll pop that to the side. Is, is everybody having fun? It looks like you are in the comments. Well done um, to those of you that are getting um, in touch. Loads of answers. Play along. This is what it's all about. This is your show as well as us having a bit of fun. So uh, we really appreciate you getting in touch. Uh, Karen Carter says, you two are so funny. This is a great show. Have you been drinking before the show? <laughs> No. Honest, honest to goodness, uh, as, and this is a true story, there are uh, cans of lager in the gallery fridge yeah. and there was chat about, oh, should we just have a little... And we didn't. Um, so th we're just high on... <laughs> high on life. Yes. Uh, high on life. Uh, congratulations, Ben, says Pat. Thank you. <laughs> Good going, Ben, says Brenda. Uh, I think I got a lot more wrong than right, says Lynn. Let us know how many you got um, in the comments. And if you can keep the praise coming in for me now, and then when Michelle wins the craft off at the end, she, I feel like I've had a lot of praise on top of all the praise <laughs> we will get. Yes. Oh, sorry, I thought Dean was coming. Yes, you'll get second place in the craft <laughs> a little later. That's what I thought you were saying. Yes, for the second year uh, running. <laughs> uh, um, we are here just to bring you some deals as well. Oh, my goodness me. Right. What a deal this is. What a deal. On the large outline floral dies, this is snap it up and grab it, because whilst we are here to have fun, we do need to try and make a bit of money too. Because <laughs> if, we, if we come off the show <laughs> and we've made no money for the company, they're not going to do it again next year. Minus um, 5,000. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, look at these. This is an insane buy. Um, we had the original like um, outline florals, didn't we, which were a little bit smaller. These are the big ones. These are the large ones for £13.60 or £18.40. You're getting all five of these. These So these are normally what, like... Um, or six, sorry. <laughs> I've only got five. Oh, no, that's the sixth one, I see. Um, so these are normally, what, like £9.99 each? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? £9.99 each. You're getting the whole lot for £13.60 or £18.40. These are incredible. And whether you... Um, what I love about these, and you know what I'm going to say, I love it when our guys create cards, when they cut these out in black um, and create, like, a beautiful, like, wash and then just place these over the top. Um, I think they look marvellous. They're also a brilliant size for doing your colouring with and also a fantastic size. I mean, you're going to be paper piecing these too. Absolutely you are. Um, let me show you all the different designs you've got and then Michelle will take us through a few finished cards. But there's your beautiful lilies. This is that stunning uh, echinacea. This is the one uh, the Craig's written on the back, cone flower. Um, I always think that's a bit of a Yorkshire name for it. Yeah, e echinacea, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Echinacea. Uh, this one here is your beautiful um, anemone or the wind flower that Craig has written on the back here. I think he's made these up. Um, <laughs> next one is your beautiful hellebore. You're also going to get in the set this one, which is your stunning peony. And then you've got your um, roses as well. We haven't got the, the board for that, but that's what you're going to be able to do. I mean, what a steal of a deal on this, Michelle. And you're going to be colouring, you're going to be paper piecing, you're going to be layering over backgrounds you've you created. These, this is a steal, isn't it? It really is. In fact, I used one of these um, the other day when I was using the watercolour, the shimmer palettes, um, a sort of watercoloured round one. So you can colour in these, you can watercolour in these, you can paper piece you can bring all of your other collections into this because they're absolutely gorgeous that one's been colored in by the lovely lily this one has been paper pieced this is by i just want leslie leslie pile so she's paper pieced this in but she's used um some inks on the background yeah you can be uh, using that beautiful black outline uh, dye, colouring it in, but then also using it to stencil through onto the background, which is going to create some beautiful background effects. Um, again, you're just going to create a beautiful inky background um, and then just pop the black over it. You're going to um, just be inking the actual dye itself with all your different inks and things like that um, and putting it on a lovely, nice pl plain, plain background. Um, and then we've got this. I love. I just love this card. You've got that beautiful fold card, and it just oh, makes yeah. a beautiful, beautiful topper um, on top of there. So, <clears throat> so many different ways that you're going to be able to um, use these for sure. Absolutely brilliant. And what a price on those as well. Unbelievable. £13.60, <coughs> wasn't it? I think something like that. If you're platinum, um, grab those whilst you can. We don't have huge stock, uh, and I think potentially those could. <laughs> be disappearing. Thank you everyone for all of the comments coming through. Honestly, um, Susie's just sent me a message saying that it's so busy in the comments, uh, she can hardly keep up, but we will read as many as we can. Um, and I know loads of you are just getting in uh, touch. Uh, Merry Christmas from Hillary. Um, uh, Jen just saying, I love this set uh, for paper piecing. Having a blast, says EB. Thank you for the laughs, Michelle and Ben. Um, Barbara McNeil says, Michelle, your responses to the questions are priceless. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. Uh, Marianne Rosie says, <laughs> this you. show might drive me to drink. Uh, <laughs> when we take a break in a second, I'll tell you what, I might nip into the gallery and have one of those lagers at this rate. Uh, and Gilmore says, congratulations, Ben. In the event of a tiebreaker, are you guys going to do a tortilla wrap challenge? Lol. Do you remember that? The Craig the, and I the, did it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, if we had some I tortillas, I would be well up for a bit of a, um, a, a, a bit of a, what? I have carbonara. You have carbonara. <laughs> yeah. Get each other in the eye with a bit of spaghetti. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, right. We're gonna do this we're gonna do the second we're gonna do the second game. So uh, here we go. Envelope number two. By the way, um, can we all appreciate, and I know you will at the end of the show, all of our team for putting all of this together because it's been brilliant. Um, I know Liam's been working on this very yeah. hard, hasn't he? And um, uh, Nicola, uh, Sam K, Sam A. Um, so it's been it's been marvellous that the, the guys have put this together. So we can we can all have a bit of fun together on um, our last show. Okay. 
And the what? No. <laughs> In the realm of cinema, a twist takes flight. Swap faces with stars under digital light. From 2023 screen, a spectacle unfurls. Guess the film where its face as the gaming world twirls. Five rounds of face swaps with 2023 movies. Oh. Um, what are your thoughts? How's your movie knowledge? The, uh, my movie knowledge is all right, but um, I'm never going to be able to get past that fabulous one that they did of Craig a little while ago on the play you crashed, right? That, what was that? They did a face swap with Craig and I don't know if it was Julia Roberts or something like that, but it was amazing. So as long as that's mine and I'm not on like a donkey or something, I'll be fine. <laughs> you, you never, never you as a, a donkey. Uh, Pat says, maybe for every question you get right, you can take a shot of lager. I'll put a shot of rum in my hot tea that I'm drinking and I can blame the poor wrapping job on that. I love that idea. Uh, and Cindy says, Merry Christmas to the whole team. Uh, thanks for a wonderful year of crafty inspiration and laughs. Um, oh, we've got some music. So have a quick listen to the music they've done for this game. It's like Muzak, isn't it? Like being stuck in a lift. Yes. Um, right, so five... We've just got to name the movie from the five face swaps, right? OK. We're telling you what the name of the movie is. Ben and Michelle wishing you and the entire team uh, Mele Kaliki Maka, says Claire Robinson. Thank you. Uh, from the land where palm trees sway. I love that song. Mele Kaliki Maka is the <laughs> on a Hawaiian <laughs> Christmas day. <laughs> That's the island greeting that they send to you. Anyway, here we're, sorry, we are we're ready. ready. Jamie is right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get, is that Craig? Is that Craig? <laughs> That is... It almost, it almost looks like Chris Pratt. If That's Craig so good. Craig grew his hair out yeah. like that. The hottie I, Scotty. He would be a hottie Scotty. He would I be. I mean, not that he's not now. I mean, he would be, be a, a, really a double Scotty. hottie <laughs> Scotty. Uh, how are you doing at home? Get your answers in. Um, can I... Do we have to be specific on this? No, but no. I realise that. Huh? Do we? Can it just be like the franchise? The franchise, rather than okay. 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 So, <laughs> so we we don't have so we don't have to have put like Harry Potter and the. No, you've got Harry Potter down, right? <laughs> oh, you Is haven't it not? put that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you put. Oh. I don't know. Oh. They just look superhero hero to me. Guardians uh, of the Galaxy. Who watches that? Oh, I did put the three and rub it out. You said not to put it. <laughs> if I could have got an extra point for that. On um, the Guardians of the Galaxy is sort of they're well, they're not the Avengers, are they? No, they're not the Avengers. I don't know. I, they're all superhero films. I mean, Marvel, Avengers, the other one. Batman's the other universe, <laughs> though, isn't it? Batman's. Oh, the, yeah, that's it. DC. DC. No, no idea. Um, so there's five of these, right? Why is there not ten of these? This is fun. I like this one. Make some more whilst you're in there. Come on. <laughs> right. OK, next one. <clears throat> is that me? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's the stuff of nightmares right there, isn't it? That is brilliant. I love that. I like your tan, Ben. I know. I'm more impressed by my physique. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can somebody clip that um, so I can use that for my new profile picture on Facebook? <laughs> I'll come back in the near. I've been working out. <laughs> that I is... have, I, they're not all going to be superhero stuff, are they? Oh. Yeah. Um. They aren't. <laughs> it's something. Do we need the full thing again? Uh, I, I've gone for it this time, I think. But <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> I was thinking oh. about it. Uh, the the Flash. Flash. That's a good well, guess. He wears isn't a it? red outfit. Oh, is that that's... right? I, I think it's that. 
Fury of the Gods. Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Still not seen that movie, actually. <gasps> Zachary, Le was he called Zachary Levi? Is it as good as the first one? No, okay. So it's two, two nil. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Michelle? <laughs> oh, I love my hair. <laughs> Do you know who I thought that was? First up, no word of a lie, with the hair. I thought they put Alan Carr's face on. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said something so much worse. <laughs> that is so funny. That doesn't look like you. I just can't carry off a hat like that. Can I get a bit closer to the screen just so I can see? I, that doesn't look like you. Is that actually you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see it now. I love it. What's he got on his That hand? is going to be my new profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's that did you just say? <laughs> Hannah says, Ben, you as you in Shazam 2 is quite frankly nightmare fuel. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's the <laughs> nicest thing you've ever said to me. I'll take that. Um, well, this is... Um, uh, uh, I think it's just... I think it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Have you? Oh, Michelle's really? still writing. Hang on. I'm just writing an essay. What on earth? I've already written. I think my. I think it's that. Willy Wonka or Charlie and the Factory. But I've got Wonka there. <laughs> well, she's got about seven <laughs> words written down. <laughs> I wanted to put the whole of the English language down so I knew I'd get it. I think... I, I didn't think, know if yeah. it was Willy Wonka. Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll yes. get... OK, 3-1. Okay. I'm still losing, so uh, it doesn't yeah. really matter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be this generous if you were winning. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of these? Only two. Ah. Oh. oh, no way. Who's in... Who's, whose face is that? Is that Craig again? It doesn't look, it just looks like Kenneth Branagh. I mean, that is a, that, that's quite a good compliment, I suppose, to Craig, isn't it? Is that? I uh, could do better. Minus one. C minus. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're, you're giving, <laughs> giving the team. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Oh, well. It's the same thing, it's Poirot. <laughs> She's just writing down any word and you're just giving her a point. In a minute, we'll get like, <laughs> I don't know, we'll get Home Alone or something and she'll write banana down. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh yeah, banana, Home Alone. <laughs> It's close. That'll do. What's this? Oh, I know this one. Bruce. <laughs> Is that Becky Swan? <laughs> Who's at the back? Oh, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Becky. Is that Becky at the front? <laughs> Is that? Is it? That is so funny. You're even more ripped on this one, though. <laughs> that is an actual picture of me, by the way. I did back think... The, I didn't like to say. I didn't want to cellar. out you. That is so funny. Okay. Why was I blown like that? When I came back off holiday, it's just, the sunlight does it to me. It's just natural. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just started writing Bruce. <laughs> How's everyone getting on at home? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> Ready? Barbie. <laughs> ah, oh, wowie. There we go. It's, it hadn't even changed, luck. No. <laughs> just, it was, it was just uh, zoomed in. Um, so, 4-2 uh, in the second round. So, I'm, I'm going to 
Oh dear, that was so funny. Um, this one's a bit of a hard choice. I'm going to go over there and choose what I'm going to have. Um, thoughts on that, Michelle? <laughs> I like to think I did a little bit better in that. I didn't yeah. make up no answers. There was Ben wrote Bruce more than I did. <laughs> yeah. can I just got like... Bruce on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what to go for? To, uh, so yeah, what do you reckon, everybody? So you've got the sparkly luxury mirror card. So I could go for that. I mean, that's quite, isn't it? Probably that, isn't it? I think. That does look. Oh, looks quite Christmassy. Or you've got the you've got the seasoned greetings paper pad. I mean, there's, but there's more. There does. There's more like there's more snippability in there, isn't there? There's more snippability in that one. Like, well, we, did, we get scissors, don't we? What do we get? Just scissors. I, I'm going to give you the sparkly one. Which would you like? Um. Either or, to be fair. <laughs> but if you were pushed, which one would you really like? Uh, the pattern paper. Okay. Is that what you meant? No, I meant oh. that one. Oh, I'm giving it you now. <laughs> which Sorry. would you really like? Take this instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need all the help I can get. Oh, I'll tell you what. Are we having fun? Are you having fun? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, does it feel like work? No. No. Um, thank you for all the l loads of right answers coming through. This is brilliant, everyone. Thank you. Um, Carletta says, it's so funny today. I uh, love this, says Jane. Um, <laughs> Hannah says, that looks like Ben, the last one. He's going to come back from the Christmas break with bleach blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> no word of a lie, back in the day, probably 20 years ago in the Holly Parks, I spent one season with bleached blonde hair. Is there photographic yes, evidence? Yes, and I can, if you remind me, I'll bring some in. Yes, I'll bring some, I haven't got it, it's all in, back in the day before Ooh. digital, it's all on, I've, I've got them somewhere. <laughs> oh, and Sil Spike says, OMG, I've just tuned into the Twilight Zone, you should try being in it, <laughs> let alone tuning into it. Uh, we're going to have a short break, we've nearly done an hour, literally we've shown you one item on the show, <laughs> the bosses are going to absolutely kill us. Never mind coming back in with blonde hair in the new year. We probably won't be back in at all. Um, <laughs> right, we will um, take a short break. Have a look at the deals. Please, for goodness sake, just buy something. Uh, because <laughs> we need to make a bit of money tonight. Uh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, have fun with us. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we've got a short break. We'll come back with games three and four and the craft off and a few more deals for you as well. We'll see you in a mo. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what does she do? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day many of our viewers bring up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate thinking dough might not work as well because i put too much <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <laughs> me thing in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you king. just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? 
<laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Well, five on a row, five on a row, five on a row, five on a row, five on a row. Um, I've made pots that exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and you know do the, the, the tapping with the, the and so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some. <gasps> Welcome back, everybody. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments. Just had a bit of a uh, look through. Uh, ben makes a great Ken, says Terry Anderson. <laughs> thank you. Uh, oh, I'm just Ben. Uh, I'm just Ben. <laughs> Anywhere else I'd be a 10. Uh, Carolyn says, loads of fun, lots of laughs. I'm having fun, says Stacey. And it's been a sad day as it was my team leader's last day. We're glad that we can cheer you oh. up a little bit. Uh, Pat says, having lots of fun and laughs. Wish I had a job like this, uh, but I think if I worked for Crafters Companion, I would have no money. <laughs> uh, Karen says, this is so funny, my sides hurt. Uh, I'm feeling under the weather, says Alicia Gordon, but you are all bringing sunshine. That's what we're trying to do. It's our, fi our final live show of the year. Um, it's just a bit of a laugh, just a bit of fun. Um, there are a few deals that you might want to take advantage of, like the topper pads. Uh, let's show you all of these. So you're actually going to get... Um, well, a five-piece selection. I have got for you four of the topper pads, and then there's um, an added bonus of some little um, pre-cut toppers from the Nutcracker Violet Studio collection. But if I just get these in order, you're going to get within this set for just 14.40 or 19.20 everything I show you. Plus, here you go. It's, uh, what I haven't got in the studio is that little um, box of pre-cut toppers from the Nutcracker collection, so you're going to get that. By the way, don't forget you can use that code here too, so this is a great opportunity to stock up on all of these topper pads, ready in time for Christmas next year, ready in time for Halloween next year, uh, and just have one for like your everyday makes too. Use the code MERRY23, you'll get an extra £14, for, uh, sorry, no you won't at all, if it was an extra £14.40 off it would be free. You get an extra... <laughs> You get an extra 20% off that, which is uh, £2.88 <coughs> or an extra $3.86 off with the code. But you're going to get all of these. And Michelle's got some finished samples. So in each pad, you've got all these different designs. And yet you can decoupage these up, right? So build the scene up to create a 3D effect, whether you use your foam pads or whether you use your chunky glue. You can create that cute little scene with the, uh, the car. You've got the um, gonks in the stocking. You've got cute little Father Christmas. You've got the gingerbread house here. Uh, also is your um, snowman and then your little cup of hot chocolate. Um, this set is your everyday collection. So again, it's um, tea parties, it's the cute little bears. We've got um, one that's quite nice for like Father's Day cards, actually. You've got the little um, nautical theme there with the sailboats and the lighthouse. You've got the hot air balloons. Also in this set, you've got the beautiful birds, nice little um, corner arrangement that. And then you've got the, um, the gonks on a cloud. Gonks, gonks on, on the run. <laughs> Gon <laughs> gonks, on, gonks on the run. <laughs> Gonks on the run. Uh, then you've got your traditional <laughs> Christmas. I think this is my favourite of the Christmassy ones. I really like this scene that you made a card with earlier. Yeah. It's like your traditional Father yes. Christmas, isn't it? Very lovely. Um, poinsettia uh, corner you've got in there as well. Um, this one is the Vintage Snowman. If you've already got that collection, by the way, that's going to work perfectly alongside the papers that you'll have for that uh, and some of the dyes. Uh, you've got your little cute birdie in the birdhouse. And then lastly in the set, the Nutcracker and also the cute little, I think, yeah, it's a little angel, isn't it? An angel shepherd, shepherd angel by the tree with a little um, sheep. 
And the last set that you've got is your Halloween one. So two Christmassy ones, an everyday and then the Halloween one. Same again here, pages upon pages of die cut toppers so you can create um, 3D effects as far as the pumpkins are concerned. You've then got another big pile of pumpkins there. You've got the spooky house and also uh, another one of those spooky houses. And then this one I really like is the little, um, the cat in the hat with the ghosties as well. And as we showed you on the picture, we'll show you again in a minute after we've seen some cards with Michelle, you will get your pack of toppers from the Nutcracker collection. Uh, let's have a look at some finished cards. This is like crafting made easy, isn't it? And I would imagine for someone like you, Michelle, who's, you know, a seasoned crafter, it's nice to have these in your crafty stash just for those sort of quick makes, right? It really is. Um, yeah, if you're a seasoned crafter or if you are a beginner, these are absolutely perfect for uh, for you. Um, they're just, you're going to be able to throw a nice, quick and simple card together. But if you look at this one, so this is by Caroline Weir. She's actually made a really beautiful dome front card, but just using one of those toppers on the, the um, sort of, in that aperture, uh, really takes it sort of to the next level. Um, just again using it um, right on the front but again you've got lots of li little extra elements you've got those butterflies that you can be um, you know decorating the rest of your card with I love this so this is Bianca's um, it is just a beautiful little door hanging with that Halloween one but we've got another door hanging as well we was um, I think I showed this one this morning you've got Evie's room you've got very princessy looking on there and then we go into the Christmas ones. Um, you've got that lovely cat. I love that. That is just so traditionally mm. Christmas. Driving um, in for Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Look at that one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Is that, um, is that a cut and emboss folder that's placed into it? It is. Yeah. So they've put um, an embossing folder, cut and embossing folder, and then decoupage in the middle. You have got the nutcracker there. Again, yes. just using them as an absolutely beautiful topper, either on a simple card or on a really beautiful, that's got some um, glitter paste through an embossing folder. You're going to be popping them on your bags. So especially at Halloween, mm. when you were giving out the little treats to the kids, you're going to pop those onto the front of your cards. So, so many possibilities with these, not just for beginners, but for intermediate and advanced as well. Uh, yeah, that, it's a brilliant deal. And don't forget, not just the, the, the four pads, the four topper pads, but then you've also got the, um, the set there of the um, little toppers, uh, which, are the, which are the nutcracker ones. Uh, so it, it, you get tons, really. Value for money is absolutely incredible. Uh, and already at that price of $14.40 um, or $19.20, that is amazing platinum price. But then, of course, you're going to use your code. Make sure you do. Merry23 is that 20% off code. You can use it on this show. You can use it um, tomorrow. Uh, you can use it right through until the 1st of January, which is brilliant. Multi-use, usual T's and C's apply. Um, and just to remind you, don't forget, this is the last live, into the last live hour pretty much now uh, of 2023. Uh, but do make sure you tune in over the festive period, particularly, I'll keep hammering this home, um, Christmas Day, 1 p.m., that's UK time. Um, I'm trying to, what, I haven't got, what time is that, uh, Eastern? One, is that eight, I think? Yeah, I think it's eight. Um, I'll remind myself in a minute. It's 1 p.m. UK anyway. Um, we've got our Christmas Day special. Um, and then same time on New Year's Eve, we've got our New Year's Eve special, me and Craig. Um, be a lot of fun, um, some fun and games, some uh, features, let's just say, and maybe a song or two. Uh, a few quick comments. Uh, Caroline says, ha ha, someone has cropped that photo for Ben's new profile photo and popped it on the Facebook page. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, making, making fudge and enjoy, what do you mean if I lose it should be punishment? I'm putting it up there. Uh, making fudge and enjoying the show, says Kimberly Ship. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you. And Sarah Lee, he's in, saying Merry Christmas to Ben, Michelle, and everyone at Crafters TV. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you, everyone. Are you, are you ready for round three? <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. So round three, um, should we find out what we're doing? Here's the card. Um, it's going to be a choice of, well, that one's a decoupage card making kit, and that one's a de Gift decorating kit from uh, the Home for Christmas range. This has been beautifully done. Well done, the, the team who's done all of this. Fantastic. Right. So, is open this, this, this will be Liam's handiwork, won't it? Definitely. Yeah. He's very, very thorough, very, very good. Yeah. Oh, no. 
I knew that this would come into it somewhere because I've seen these lying around the office. In a whimsical world where kazoos play a game of tunes in a festive array. Oh no. <laughs> Let kazoos sing with joyful might. Guess the Christmas songs in merry delight. It says here, five rounds with the CTV choir kazooing Christmas songs and the winner gets the choice of embellishment set. I mean, well, A, how are you on Christmas tunes, Michelle? And B, uh, have you got earplugs? Um, I think we've already established. I think that I'm, you know, really ready for it and then it just goes downhill from there. But um, I'm s still positive I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this round. I'm going to do it. Okay. What do you think? Um, <laughs> I, well, I think, to be honest with you, I mean, your music knowledge is pretty good, isn't it? Um, I think. Christmas songs. I think so, yeah. It's just whether or not our team are any good at playing kazoos. Well, I think that's, that's obviously going to be the I main problem. I can always problem. blame it on them if I get it wrong this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's videos as well. I just thought we were going to hear the audio. Oh, love oh. this. Um, so there's five here, right? So play along at home once again. Let us know how you get on. So five Christmas songs on kazoos uh, with the choir, which I can see is made up of Nicola, Liam and Sam uh, A. So here we go. If you're ready at home, let's do this thing. name or just the name of the song oh it's fine I think point for each Ugh. okay don't know who sung it oh <laughs> should we not do that then no we can do okay. that I'm happy to make up another name it's Bruce and the Linders <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't write nothing down for laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, if, you, if you've written down the same song that I've written down, and assuming I'm right, you know, you know, you know the name of the many, many people. Yes, I, I, I can't, just, I just can't think of what they're called as a collective. They give you a clue, they give you... Yes. Is it a point for each, you say? A point for each. Do you want a clue? Yes. You might use this if you were injured. <laughs> <laughs> Don't write down crutches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why am I helping you? I'm trying to win the game. Well, that's, that's it now. This is assuming, have you written down? Yeah, it is that, isn't it? You got it, yeah. You've written down Last Christmas, <laughs> plaster. <laughs> Do they know it's Christmas? Band aid. Let's have another listen. They're no, playing the whole thing. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Bravo. 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 <laughs> well done, choir. I can't wait to hear what they come up with next. So that's two each, yeah? OK, two apiece. I think so. We're ready. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who sung this one though. Ah. Uh. Do you reckon you've got the song? Yeah. I think if I'm right with the uh, artist, you can do what? I think I think oh. I've got the song. It was a, just a little quiet, so 
Okay. I think I think I know. Has it got something festive in the title that you might hang things on? No. Oh, I might have the wrong song then. Have you got an answer? Yeah. And a band name. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Santa Claus is coming to town by Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I think it's Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. Ah. I don't, that's what I thought. <laughs> At the Christmas party hub. <laughs> well, they're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking around. Do you know what I love about this more than anything? Is we're having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are playing along at home. And I, I'm, I'm doing quite well so far. But this is all absolutely irrelevant to the overall winner. <laughs> the only way that I'll win this competition at the end is if I win Michelle to come and craft for me. Can I have that as an option in game four? No. Okay. Okay. I'd have Jake helping me. You're all right. <laughs> Right, uh, next one, okay, here we go. <laughs> can, can we get, did you get that? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, I think I might. If it's the song that I think it is, I think you could have like multiple people because I think it's been done by a few, hasn't it? I think so. Yeah, there's lots. If, if it's the one I'm thinking of, there's been lots. What are you thinking of? Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't think I've got the correct singer though. Okay. Yeah! Hmm. Yes! I like that. That was two each in that round. Yeah, we both got two. How you many know rounds you, left? I just wasn't confident with that one, but... No. I should go with my gut. Go with your gut, always. <laughs> so six, four, two to play. All right, here we go. <laughs> that sounded like some sort of like wasp attack. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Can we listen again? Run away! Oh. How are you getting on at home? Probably better than me. Um, right. I'll I give, have no idea. I'll give you a clue. I'll yes. give you a clue. Yes. You've already written you've already written this down tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not <laughs> no, Dean. It's not, not Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Claus. You've already written it down earlier. I'm trying to think. What was the first game? Oh, yeah. You, you wrote it down in the first round, this song. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Um. When... Oh, why am I helping you? I'm trying to win. <laughs> you wrote it down in the first round with the question, which song was originally written for Thanksgiving? I'm sure you did. Oh! I'm sure you did. Am I being nice or what? Hey, the, it's the Christmas spirit. It's not the winning that counts, it's the taking part, isn't it? That's the thing. I spoke her name wrong. How's everyone, how's everyone doing on the socials? I reckon probably quite well on that one. Is everyone loving the choir? Should we book them again for next year? Let us know. But they're coming either way, apparently. Lock the doors next year so they can't get in. Uh, are you right there, Michelle? I can't think of her name. Um, she's, got a she's got a famous brother called Jim. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Jim Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brucina! <laughs> I prefer my answer. <laughs> yes! Jim Carrey! Yes. I won't get your clue now! <laughs> what were you thinking? Brucina! <laughs> Well, he, he, he was in Bruce Almighty, wasn't he? <laughs> so, oh my goodness me. Right, last one in this round. Here we go. Ah. That was tough, that, wasn't it? I named that tune in three. That was quick. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Three, and me first. I've got Last Christmas by Waham. Yay! Michelle! <laughs> I got one Is back. it right though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so that is, uh, this, this is going the same way as last year. I'm telling you, it's the same way as last year. So that's three <laughs> out of three from me, but it makes no odds. Uh, by the way, big round of applause for our Christmas choir with the Kazoo's there. Nicola, Sam A and Liam, fantastic. Um, whilst I go and choose uh, me box, I mean, what was your take on that? Your uh, review of the choir? Uh, do you know what? They was so much better than I would have <laughs> ever been. At least you could sort of tell what they was kazooing. kazooing? What they were kazooing. <laughs> uh, decoupage card making kit, gift decorating kit. I think I'll go for this one because it's got pom poms in it. But I'll go for it, and it's oh yeah. So you got that one, that's got like the pom poms and uh, ribbons. I think there's like washi tape in there as well. I'm I'm not going to get around to using any of this. There's stickers in there, uh, and then that one there is like um. Oh actually, well that one's got some like little gems in it and some little. Mm, are the sticky gems? That, are they sticky gems? They are adhesive gems. Card blanks, ribbon bows, mini tags. I've, I'm going to give you this one. I think. I'm, going to, I'm trying to make it as hard for you as possible. Uh, I'm going to need all the help I <laughs> can get. Thank you very much. But there you go. Uh, you're welcome. Um, there. Thank you very much. Have a look. There's, there's quite a lot in that box, I think, Michelle, isn't there? There's loads yeah. in this box. This is one of my favourites, definitely. So I'm quite excited to have this one, I've got to say. Am um, I allowed to look in it now, or do I have to wait? I think you can have a bit of a look in it. <laughs> have, a little, have a little bit of a look. Thank you. I need to, I need to do sort of plan my attack. What? Do you, are you at, oh, you're actually, you've got, I mean, I'm literally going to go snip, 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 stick, whack on, stick, 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 pom-poms, yoink, done. So you've just give your game away now? Oh, yes. Don't, See? don't copy me. <laughs> no, I won't. I would never copy you, Ben. Um, I think Ben and Michelle need to play a tune for us with the kazoo, says Gillian. <laughs> if, they were, if they were still here... We would give them a blow for you. Maybe we'll go out with a bit of a kazoo uh, concert. Uh, loving the choir, says Merilou. Uh, yes to the kazoo choir, says uh, Jen. <laughs> Roseanne says, great, uh, great job to the CTV kazoo trio. Great job choir as well as Michelle and Ben, says Pat. Yeah, cheers to the choir, says Eve B. And yay, Christmas choir, whoop whoop, says Alicia. Lot of fun there, lot of fun. Uh, another quick deal for you as far as the story is just concerned. I still can't quite get over this. Um, one of the best deals of the day, as far as I'm concerned, with it being um, Christmas, New Year, maybe you've got like a New Year's resolution to um, get your craft room sorted out, get your stamps and dice sorted. Uh, well, look no further than this deal. Instead of £35 or $48, you have got... Um, well, you've got £15.20 or $20.80 for both of these. Um, £15.98 or £21.98 is what you're saving. I mean, how handy are these, Michelle? Seriously, I mean, they're great for obviously carrying your stamps and dies around, but um, great for just like storing and popping away on your shelf, right? Well, they are. I mean, the thing is, if you take out those magnetic sheets, yeah. you can be storing anything in yeah. there. Uh, my daughter's got the smaller one, okay. and she has, she's got everything that I buy from us, she takes. If she can fit her art stuff in, because she's doing GCSE art at school, yeah. then she will. And she's got the smaller one. She has all of her little sketches 
and things in there popped onto the binder. So they're just handy for more than just crafting, definitely. Absolutely. Um, just to um, kind of reiterate, you don't get the magnetic panels in here, but you do get um, one small folder, one of the large folders, and that is an incredible price for both of those, £15.20 or $20.80. Um, and again, you're going to take another 20% off because you'll use that code, MERRY23, to get another, what, £3.04, I think? It's over three pounds off and over four dollars off uh, when you use that code. Um, snap it up whilst you can. It's been very busy today. I've heard, just to say how busy this show is, the um, large outline floral dies that we brought to you earlier on, they've sold out. Uh, so things are proving very, very popular uh, as people are enjoying the show. Um, also, uh, something else which you might want to pop into your baskets is not what's on the screen. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute, they're, they're deciding there is. They've been, um, they've been too busy playing along with the games. Um, hang on, what are we looking at? Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, Scrap Master. The, scrap Master. This is brilliant, not just for scraps. Isn't this the one? No, the, that's the Memento Keeper, isn't it, that Tiffany keeps all of her bits and pieces in? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, I think anything totally Tiffany is yeah. absolutely brilliant. And this, again, is um, a hugely popular piece because you've got all those pockets in there as well. Um, so you're definitely going to be able to store lots and lots in this. Yeah, um, snap it up. All of these deals you'll find on the Shop the Day page, um, Shop the Show page as well. And don't forget, you've got your winter outlet sale deals for you as well. Still, I think well over 650 deals for you to be able to um, grab. So uh, have a look. Now, um, one final game, card four, where we are playing for red liner tape or a tape pen. This is going to be the, well, you say it's the big one. It is... It's fairly big in the whole scheme. This is things. the one you really want to win, isn't it? Yeah, more than anything. So I'm not going to give any hints and tips this time out. It's, it, this, this is war. I, I'm not going to give you any hints and tips either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop giving me hints and tips like <laughs> Bruce and Linda and Sharonville. <laughs> Brucina. <laughs> <sighs> Lots of love for the Scrap Master coming in. Uh, saying Kim, Kim says, yes, the Scrap Master is awesome. And Deborah Spencer, I love, love, love the Scrap Master. Uh, Mary Beth Doyle is uh, giving us a round of applause for the fun and games. Well done to everyone who's been involved in this show, by the way. I mean, we're just enjoying the fruits of everyone else's labour and mucking about. Yes. Um, but yes. well done to all of our teams. So card uh, four, game four, you ready? Yes. I've got this one. <laughs> I feel like I might have been hustled here and like you've let me win the first three. And the game that I really want to win you're just going to like beat me like 10 nil or whatever it is. <laughs> OK, uh, you enjoyed it once, it's back again. Faces swapping, a festive refrain. Christmas swaps in every trace. Guess the film, Delight in the Grace. Uh, does anyone else feel like this is like um, Dusty Bin 321? Those of you here in the UK, remember that from the 70s and 80s? That's what yes. it feels like. Anyway, uh, five rounds of face swaps with Christmas movies. The winner gets the choice of the red liner tape or the tape pen. So let's ask you again, Michelle, how are you feeling about this one? Ah, I've done so well <laughs> so far. I've got this one in the bag. I was, I'm sort of the underdog. This is where, you know, in that Christmas movie, right at the end, she comes up and she's triumphant. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> That's fighting talk where I come from. <laughs> Um, right, everybody, keep playing along at home. Um, if you're ready to do this, it's f so it's five Christmas movies. We just have to, with our faces swapped in, we just have to name the Christmas movie. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> is that me and Debbie Robinson? Yes. That is brilliant. That one also needs to be clipped and put on my Facebook page. I love it. Look how I make a good fabulous. I make a good Santa. And this is getting close here. Look at Debbie. She does she look glamorous? She really does stuck look glamorous. Me on a bloke and Debbie gets that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Liam. <laughs> that is so funny. It's a good movie, this one. It was on, um, they've, they've made two of them actually. 
It's on Netflix. Do you know it? I, no, I'm having uh, a guess. Um, I think the first one was about three or so years ago. And then they did a second one. It's Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. I mean, that isn't. That's me and Debbie Robinson. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Well, I want to see yours first. <laughs> oh, OK. Santa Claus. It's not the worst, I've guessed tonight. I was waiting for, <laughs> I don't know, Linda goes to Bruce Town. <laughs> Is it that? Ah, oh, that's it. Christmas Chronicles. There you are, look. It's such a, if you haven't seen that movie, watch it this year. I've not seen that one. Oh, you need to, have you got Netflix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get it on tomorrow with the family. It's such a brilliant movie. Such a brilliant movie. And he, Kurt, she's not in the, um, the first one as much as she's in the second one. Um, but he is a brilliant Santa Claus. It's, so, it's such a good movie. It's really Christmassy. If I you're do struggling like to get Goldie into... Horn, though. Huh? I do like Goldie Horn, so I'm surprised they haven't seen it. Yeah. She's more in the second one. Because mm. um, they're like, they're married in real life, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're married, but they've been together for uh, a very long yeah. time. It's really good, very Christmassy. If you're struggling to get in the Christmas spirit, watch that movie. Yeah. Question two. Who is even in the... I think I know... Oh, it's Craig. <laughs> Who's in the star? Is that Sheena? <laughs> is it? I need to come closer. Let me just... I d <laughs> it is it's Sheena, Sheena? Isn't it? And Craig. Oh, I love that. I know what film it is as well. Um... I think I, 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 I know, well again, I know, I think I know the franchise. Um, do we have to have that right, the whole thing? Okay. Um, I am right with one word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and you want the number or the name? Mm, uh, okay. My daughter's going to be so disappointed because she loves all of these. I'm going to... Because that's... Mm. I think that's the name of it, but I might have made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Nativity 4. I don't think there were four. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think there's only three, <laughs> but I didn't know which you were. <laughs> Away in the manger. Danger in the manger. Isn't oh, it called? danger in the manger. Oh yes, David Tennant. Uh, I think I preferred it with the Timothy Four. <laughs> there wasn't a four. I think number th was number three with um, Martin Clunes was in that, wasn't he? Yeah, and Kathy Tate. And who? Kathy Tate. Was Kathy she? Tate, yeah. Ah. In the words of Catherine Tate, how am I bothered? <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, who's it? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's Corinne. <laughs> that is... That's, that's just a little bit disconcerting, I've got to say. <laughs> I tell you what, you said my, the picture of me as Shazam was stuff of nightmares earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny. They make Debbie Robinson look as glam as anything, don't they? They think you want Willy Wonka. Well, at least it wasn't like the donkey from Nativity that stuck me on, so. <laughs> oh, is anyone getting these at home? That's what I want to know. Oh, dear. Have you got an answer? Yes. Do you think you've got it? Yes. I love this film. Uh, I've probably called it the wrong thing again. Mm, I do like the film. I'm 50-50, I think, whether I've got this right or not, but... There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It's got... Um, Who's the voice of the snowman? It's um, Michael My, Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. I love that. But Christmas film. So his dad dies before Christmas. How is that a Christmas film? Yeah, it is a bit sad. Apologies if you've not seen that movie. Oh, sorry. Watching it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old... It's like 90s, isn't it? I it think. is an old one. I used yeah. to watch this when Joseph were little and he's 26 now. Wow, yeah. Yeah. 1998. What, what on question what? What's the next question? Oh, <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> who... Is that you? 
you. As, that is brilliant. Oh, I'm just, I didn't see this. <laughs> That is brilliant. I'm really doing it now, look. That is so <laughs> funny. I, that is the best one. That's my new screensaver yes, and profile it picture. Yes, it should be. 100%. Oh my goodness me. That's, re that's probably, the, I think that's the best one of the lot we've done, isn't it, tonight? So funny. Uh, what you got? <laughs> that is brilliant. <sighs> and it's the last one. What's the scars on the DARS? Oh, and it's four to me, <gasps> two to Michelle. <gasps> now, the the... Last question is not worth five points to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Can't make up the rules like this as you go along. Let me see the picture and then I'll decide. <laughs> yes, it's worth five points. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you've done though with this one is you've started, you'll start an argument here as to whether this one is a Christmas movie or not. It absolutely is a Christmas movie. It is. Movie. I agree. A Bruce Willis came out and said what? Oh, he said it isn't. Ugh, it is. Yeah. Okay, oh, Dean, our producer Dean's very much a film buff and he's just said, if this is a Christmas movie, then Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. Chat to us in the comments about that. Yay or nay, is this movie a Christmas movie? Oh dear. I want that one as my new screensaver, by the way, as well. Me as Bruce Willis. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> the only time you're gonna written Bruce. <laughs> See what she's done there. See what she's done there. That is so funny. Uh, yes, it is a Christmas film. It says there. I think if um, it's got a Christmas tree in it, it's a Christmas film. Well, they were saying. Um, what were they saying? I saw a Facebook post the other day. Them saying um, the original Rambo movie in that case should be a Christmas film because that was set at Christmas time apparently. Um, but. I, yeah, I'm sort of on the, that is a Christmas movie thing, but you know, each to their own. Um, loads of comments still flying through. Thank you for all of these. Loads of you getting the nativity, Jack Frost, uh, Home Alone. Uh, ben and Craig is the bad guys, love it. Um, our Susie says, Die Hard, not a Christmas movie. Uh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, says Rosalind, uh, just not traditional. Uh, loads of right answers coming through, actually. Thank you for all of these. Um, Christy Mahoney getting the Christmas Chronicles. Um, and there's just there's too many comments to keep up with. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed playing along at home with this. Um, it has been a lot of fun. Um, so, Michelle, we are going to take a short break in just a second. Uh, just before we do, I need to go and pick. I wonder which one I'm going to pick. Um, how do you think you fared over the four rounds? I, th <laughs> I think I did great. I think you brought the fun. Um, that is, I, I'm not. Can you tell I'm not a quiz person? You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> any, any slight hope that I've got? Take pen. Are you happy by any yeah, I'm chance? I'm really happy. Thank you. That's the I, best Christmas gift. I let you win, you see. <sighs> that was it. All of it. I let him win. I do what? <laughs> I'm going to go home happy tonight, either way, because it's Christmas time. I've, I've gone four from four again in the quiz part of it. I don't mind this next bit. It's, you know, we're, we're, it's not a competition. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> um, I'm already a winner in many people's eyes, right? Oh, you are. Yeah. Um, and when we come back, we're going to find out what we're going to be crafting, I guess, are we? And probably giving you some more bits and pieces to shop for, too. Yes, um, <laughs> what we're here for. Yeah, I think we've literally <laughs> shown two items in two hours. I think we've done three. Oh, three, we've done three. We've done three, three if the bosses are watching. We've been doing loads of selling stuff. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll be back in about three or four minutes' time.
we get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family many of our viewers bring up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate thinking though it might not work as well because i've put too much <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um, me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire 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 Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparklings, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Uh, welcome back everybody, thank you for all the comments coming through. The chat has now been taken over by Die Hard, Christmas film or not. Is, says Hannah. Not, says Phil. Not, says Mary Lou. Uh, Dillian, it is. For Holidays Design, it is not. Barbara R, it is the best Christmas movie. Die Hard, not a Christmas film, says Lynn. Definitely a Christmas film, says Zoe. This is what I mean. Uh, Bruce's wife is at her Christmas party, says Linda. So it is a Christmas movie. Christmas action movie per the director says Rosalind Russell. Um, you are on the nice list, Michelle and Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Polly Coe says, loads of fun. Merry Christmas, everyone. And hiya, says Diane, and a very Merry Christmas to everyone. Joanne says, wrapping gifts today, but had to stop to wish everyone a wonderful, magical Christmas. Um, and thank you to Jean, who says, thank you for such an uplifting show. Merry Christmas, everyone. I just said to Michelle off air, I think it's been the most fun hour and a half I've had on air this year. Um, and I had fun last year with Craig, but... Um, 
I don't know if it, was, if it was this much fun. Although I can't remember. I can't remember this time last year. But we're having fun is the main thing. Yes. Um, and we've still got to come the final part of the uh, festive fun where there will be a craft off shortly um, where we will be once again crafting with the goodies we got given a Christmas crown or a Christmas hat. Um, so that's coming up with just the scissors. Have you, what's the, you got a pair of scissors, obviously over there, yeah? Yeah. Ah, oh, the special <laughs> scissors. And, well, in my instance, the tape, and you've got the red liner tape. I was going to give you the little snips. <laughs> uh, card and paper, six-piece mega bundle. Let's quickly whiz you through this. There is loads you're going to be getting um, here. This is a, an incredible buy for £52 or $64. You're getting two lots of our fantastic uh, glitter and pearl card stock. This is the rose gold. So as you can see, you're going to get the uh, matching glitter card stock with that sort of um, pearl effect. Works beautifully. If I just lift that up, you can see how that's going to mat and let absolutely brilliantly. Uh, 250 GSM. Um, so it's brilliant for all of your die cutting, all of your construction making. And of course, that glitter is non-shed. You get that in the rose gold and you get that in the gold as well. So all of that um, just incredible cardstock. On top of that, you're going to get the um, Seasons Greetings multi-sheet um, paper pad, which is the one that I've got actually of this side, isn't it? Um, so that is coming to you in this set again loads of snippability loads of fun um, with this set and great that you've got the um, matching b sides to go with the a sides on top of that you're going to get our fantastic luxury mirror card gold and silver loads of different designs here and it is a mixture of our mirror card and our matte mirror card as i explained earlier on some of these you'll find the designs are in mirror onto matte cardstock and in others you get the matte um, designs onto the mirror but you've got all of those beautiful florals and butterflies and you've got your stripes and you've got your spots and dots you've got the harlequin in there as well beautiful hearts all of that is included and then also in the bundle making this an unbelievable deal 15 of our festive pool bows and your uh, glitter pack, two big pots of glitter you're getting in there in the iridescent and the black, big, big pots, um, all of that for £52 or $64, uh, saving $47.94 or $55.78. Use your code, Merry Christmas, to get that extra 20% off. Not Merry Christmas, it's Merry 23 to get an extra 20% off. Uh, so that's another £10.40 or $12.80. More cardstock with Michelle. Uh, have you got, oh yes, you have, the luxury cardstock. I've got the uh, luxury cardstock um, and it is really luxury. So you've got the three different um, textures in here. You've got that beautiful glitter card that is non-shed. You've got that really shiny mirror card and then you've got that matte mirror or that satin in there. Um, are you gonna be getting it in the blue? or the ice blue and then you're going to be getting the same in that gold pack um, you've got 30 sheets in each you've got 10 of the glitter you've got 10 of the matte and you've got 10 of the shiny you're also going to be getting your silver and again exactly the same so this is um this is this 300 or 310 i can never remember i think it's three oh, it's 250. Oh. <laughs> three <I think 250. laughs> Um, so you are getting all four colours. So you are getting that four pack there. So what, what did we say? This 30 in each, so it's 120. 120 sheets of a 250 GSM card. Not only is it a 250 GSM, but you've, they're all coated. So it's that luxury card stock. So a platinum, pl platinum price. It's so hard to say platinum and price it in the ours. same word bit of a tongue twister uh, but 20 pounds today or 32.80 dollars and don't forget you've got that 20 percent discount code that's going to take that down to lower than that because i'm not working it out unfortunately 16 pounds <laughs> or less than 30 dollars <laughs> i love that um, all of this is uh, on the web for you as we said and um yeah just hit the shop the day shop the show and <clears throat> Um, we've got that code for you as well, which of course you can use across the whole website up until uh, the 1st of January. T's and C's do apply. Uh, I absolutely love the craft off. Can't wait to see the create, says Mary Pat. Oh, goodness, goodness me. Uh, Rhonda <laughs> says, so excited for the craft off as well. Is that what we're doing now then, guys? Are we? Are we are? We're going to do that. 
So, so how long have we got? 10 minutes to create a Christmas crown. Right, are we, you better play some music here as well in the background because I'm not going to be talking. Oh, hang on, what, what, hey. Okay, so there's a little bit of music going it's on. It's schnazzy. It's quite schnazzy. Are we, are we ready? Uh, 10 minutes, or oh, we're off. Oh, are we, oh! We're off. Oh, could have warned us. I mean, we'd have been paying attention, but, oh, we should have been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, finished! <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a design in mind? Not really. Are you just going on the fly? I'm just going on the fly, I think. Well, have you got a design? No. Oh. Just on the fly in it. It's really hard when you've only got like a pair of scissors. Yes, no ruler and, and putting elementary type things. Hey? Eh? What's that? <laughs> I can't even use a pokey tool. No, you <gasps> can't use a pokey tool. <laughs> it's too big, isn't it, for a. I think I need to like. Mm. Oh, oh. This this will be my ten minutes just trying to peel the red liner tape. I don't want, I've done want it. that, see. Could do with like a oh no. Could, this is what you could do with like a Three of those to fit my big head. <laughs> three. That's not too bad, is it? So Dean did say you had a big head earlier on, didn't he? He did. He, he said he that did. two A3 sheets wouldn't be enough for my head. He did. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to... Oh, oh the no, tongue's my... out. My cutting is absolutely awful. Just cut down the line. How are you getting on over there? Yeah. Good? Yeah, I Happy? think so. How long have you got left? No, oh, I've got nowhere near enough time, have we, really? Let's go. Loads, on. loads of time. Loads of time, <laughs> mate. I went all brucey. All right, my lambs, loads of time. This is a bit like a generation game, my lamb. All right, how are we getting on over there? Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I can keep that as a spare, I think. Because it probably will go wrong. Um, up there. Up there. So notice this is the quietest that we've been. <laughs> or so. It is lucky. It is lucky. Yes, you're correct that we have got uh, this. Oh. Amazing. Music. <laughs> hey! <laughs> right. I have wasted a lot of time <laughs> doing that, <laughs> dancing about. Uh, you might have a little bit bigger, don't I think? Uh, uh, oh no, hang on a minute. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Uh, Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Down there. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're doing the overhead. You're gonna have to. Oh, now it's slipping too far. Oh. You're distracting me from my masterpiece. <laughs> I did. I paid him. I said, just <laughs> look how wonky this is. <laughs> hey, it doesn't really matter, does it? You know. It's fabulous. Fab. Fab, you loves. How, you, how are you doing over there? Good. Oh yeah. Oh, you made a start. Oh, better start. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is where this is where all the crafting expertise comes in. You see. Uh, oh, I don't know about expertise. Do you make a lot of like hats and craft? No. Um, like the Christmas time, I and mean, you obviously make cards and maybe like crackers and stuff, but hats not so much, no. Hats not so much, no. I do like to make some decorations. 
Right. But um, not hats. No. I, I look a little bit shocking in a hat, so it's not something I like to make. I'd love to be able to wear hats and crowns, but no, I look a bit, look a bit weird. You look yeah. weird in a hat, you say? Yeah. Why? <laughs> is it because so what Dean said? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. It's really hurt my feelings yeah, by Dean. saying I've got a big head. That's <laughs> awful, that, isn't it? HR! <laughs> Five minutes. Oh, my how long, God. How long's gone? Oh, you're joking me. Oh, this is taking me ages to cut around my app. Maybe if I just wear it that way round, you guys won't notice that I haven't done the back. <laughs> oh, now I've told you. You need to snip a bit quicker, Ben. Here, what do you doing? Do you need to do the back? Can it ju not just be part of the oh, design? Oh, now I've gone wrong here. Yeah, I'm going to add embellishments, but it's taking me time to cut the blunt loom. Oh, and he's four then. <laughs> <laughs> to cut the acting. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Flaming at. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've made a rookie mistake here. I've constructed it without putting me bits and pieces on it. Oh. That's rookie, that. That's where Michelle's rookie. like... Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, hang on. Oh, man. Where's that page gone now? I want that. This is what I want. Let's stick a few of these on, I think. You can tell I'm really concentra concentrating. Concentrating? Yes, because I keep sticking my tongue out and then looking up and realising that, thankfully, you haven't seen it. <laughs> James, haven't I'll seen your the tongue? Camera. Huh? I haven't seen your tongue? Yeah, I keep sticking, yeah, concentrating so it sort of goes. So, let's. Oh. <laughs> A little bit more there. Look at the time go, where does the time go? This is the mo one of the most stressful things. I think ever. I've got to say though, already, win or lose, I'm happier with my hat this year than, than, last, than year. last year. Already. <laughs> and I've not even. I have improved over the year. Although, having said that, like Michelle, I mean, I obviously don't do nowhere near as much crafting as Michelle does. I, I don't really make hats. That's no. a bit of a thing, you know. Um, but you know what? I'm quite happy with this. I'll, I'll take this home for Laura later on. Merry Christmas, darling. If I win, well, I will, I will, if I win, I will wear this uh, <laughs> all the way home. <laughs> I'll drive home in it if I win. <laughs> Dick, what are you trying to say about my driving? He's just like, well, just, just don't get pulled over by the police. <laughs> so he's, he's called Michelle, he said, you've got a big head, and now he's just insulted my driving. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Sorry if you all get in touch, by the way. I'm normally at this point, I'm very good aren't I, at normally reading out your uh, your messages, but it's all too tense and hectic for that. Let's have a look at Michelle's. Oh, Michelle. I mean, you've, I mean I, I'm stopping now. <laughs> Two minutes. I need to sit some pom-poms on mine. I, wanna, I just want to get the... Oh, you have pom-poms. The little crown... Yeah, I want to get the little crowny bits finished. I have decoupage that I can't decoupage up. You got what? I've got decoupage that I can't decoupage up. You knew what you were doing, didn't you? I think so. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing now. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> yeah, but I can't make Michelle laugh and craft at the same time. It's very, very difficult. Oh, come off there, you. Come off. How long have we got? Oh, mm. never. A minute 40. Right, that'll have to do for the... Uh, uh, pom poms. Stick a few of these bad boys on. Open up. Here we go. Yeah, I can't believe you've got. Oh, of course, you've got the best kit. What's that? I, I was just going to say, I can't believe you've got <laughs> pom poms. <laughs> I've got pom poms flying everywhere. Okay, stick on there. Set. Oh, One minute. What? Pom pom's gone. Come on, get on there. That's it. You absolute beauts. Fifty seconds. Come cool on, get on there, boys. Come on, get stuck on there, lads. Go on, get on, get on. I've run out of, I've run out of pom poms with that many in the packet. Gone a bit over the top there. There's that's it. There, that one there. 
There we go, that's nice. Oh, my pom poms are falling off. Um, 30 seconds. I can't get the garden. Bennett. Have you got tassels as well? Yeah. <laughs> I, oh. I can't believe it's gone so quick. <laughs> Do I have to put it on? Yes, you have to put it on. There you go. There you go. Round of applause, everybody. There we go. <laughs> the challenge. The challenge is over. Thank You're really for doing that. the little house on the prairie theme tonight, aren't you? What's that? Little house on the prairie theme. I don't know quite what I've gone for. Can I just stick this back on? This little bit that's falling off. Oh, did off. it come off? Just for the final. Then we can we can model them. I think we should um, each do a little catwalk. With our, with our hats. You thinking of what? Oh, a close-up. That's probably. Maybe not so close, please. <laughs> oh, that is so fabulous. I mean, I'm happy. Honestly, Michelle, whatever the result, I'm happy because this is by far and away the best crown I've made in the two years. I love that. <laughs> you, can get, you can get as close as you like on this. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> so Ben is modelling a beautiful crown with festive paper. He's gone for a uh, traditional style crown with a selection of pom-poms and a very cute festive tie underneath the chin. That's crown one if you want to vote for that one. I mean, fair play over here. Look at this. <laughs> Michelle, take us through your, your amazing crown. So we've gone for the stars. We've gone for the star look. That is brilliant. And then some presents, because I am a present. <laughs> Can I, let me just come over here, sir. I just want to stand side by side with you. Sorry, sorry. And let, here we go. Please, <laughs> round of applause for your festive king and queen. <laughs> 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 One, two, vote. Now, let me get the comments back. I'm like, do you know what? I'm really happy with this crown. I'm quite impressed with mine. That yours is fabulous. I mean, I'm really impressed with yours. Because I, knew... I had nothing to work yeah, with. Yeah, you had literally <laughs> nothing to work with. But I kind of thought that you would come up with something awesome, because obviously you are awesome at crafting. Oh. You know, I gave you the, the, the duff hand, but you've come up trumps. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to wear this Christmas day. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, I can't believe you've got like ties under your chin and everything. That's amazing. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah? um, vote now, everybody. Well done, Lord Ben. And of course, to Michelle, says Shadaya. Uh, ben will leave a trail of pom poms uh, along the catwalk, <laughs> says Lillian. They're not best stuck on. Uh, it's been a blast today, guys, says Rosalind. Uh, have a wonderful holiday and enjoy your well deserved breaks. Uh, wonderful, says Terry Anderson. Super funny, says Rhonda Crowley. Uh, Tracy says, Ben, you are so funny. I love King Ben and Queen Michelle. <laughs> yes. uh, Michelle's looks super stylish. <laughs> I mean, what about mine? Yours does look amazing. <laughs> I've got. i got to be honest, yours does look brilliant. It's not too shabby. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. In fact, I'm going to take this for Christmas Day because I hate wearing those paper hats out of the crackers. So wearing this one. Um, how many bits of card did you use in the end to put it together? <laughs> three. <laughs> what, three in total for the star as, the, as well? Oh, no, no, um, uh, four. Uh. Four or five or six. Yeah. So if you ever want to make a, yes, a, a crown for Michelle in the future, uh, it's three pieces of cardstock for Not Michelle. Not A3. A3. <laughs> uh, and it's one, about one and a half pieces of A5, A5 for me. I've got a big head. I'm going to, is that say A5? Oh, mine's, oh, mine's A3, isn't it? A3. Um, Happy Christmas from Exmouth, says Julia. Uh, this has been so much fun. Thank you for brightening up my evening. I was feeling low, and Ben and Michelle have been fabulous tonight. Thank
Thank you. Um, look at the pop pop shoe across the table, says Rosalind. I'm going to have to clear all this up in a minute. <laughs> Uh, and Gilmore says, Michelle's looks like something Wonder Woman would wear. <gasps> ah, it's because I am Wonder Woman, really. Yeah. You think she made the crown, but actually, she just she looked like she was cutting stuff, but she just pulled it out from under, and that's the crown she wears when she goes out fighting crime. Got my little cuffs on that I <laughs> together, do my superhero -y stuff. Um, they're both adorable, says Rose. Wow, Michelle, says Kate in California. Gillian says, great crowns, both of you. Great hat, says Linda Armstead. Uh, Barbara McNeil says, ha ha, love Michelle's hat. Uh, Kim says, love it. I mean, we've got a couple of minutes left. I think, listen, let's just say, there's loads of great deals over on the website for you. Um, you can make sure you shop. This is obviously the last live show, but we're gonna be running all of like um, your favorite shows over on 24 seven, so you can still catch all of the shows during the, uh, the festive break. Uh, and like we said, Craig and I, uh, are here we're not physically here but Christmas Day we've got a Christmas special for you one o'clock okay UK time so that is going to be 8 a.m. Eastern uh, 6 a.m. Um, no 5 a.m. Pacific and then same again, New Year's Eve. We've got that special, again, New Year's Eve special. And the show's kind of combined lots of fun features. I mean, not as much chaos and fun as this. Um, <laughs> maybe some songs and lots of um, crafty fun um, in there as well for you. So yeah, it's gonna be really amazing. Uh, and of course, like we said, you, the shop is open for you. The website is always open so you can come back, shop that winter sale because new things are going to be added all the time up until the 1st of January. And we're back live on the... 2nd of January, yes. aren't we? Yeah. When are you next back in, Queen Michelle? <gasps> oh. I'm not back in January at all. Oh, no. No, I'm a hobby maker a lot in January. I've got quite a few launches down there. And I'm back up here February. I, I know. I, they put us together at all this time yeah. and then they've separated us for a full month. Do you know what will happen again? Because we've done, you know, about six or seven shows, six or seven days together recently, haven't yeah. we? I'll see you next Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's what for happened this year. Two. Yeah, for now, yeah. Because that's what happened this year, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. We, we didn't work together all year and then got together at the end of the year. Yeah. yeah um, definitely. But yeah, it's been brilliant. Massive um, thank you. We're still waiting for the result. It must be, it must be close. I, maybe I've taken it to the wire. Um, massive thank you to all of the um, team here, not just the team tonight as well, but to all of our team here at um, Crafters Companion, Crafters TV. Um, it's been a brilliant year. It's been so much fun. Um, and listen, let's do it all over again in 2024. More fun shows, more fun launches, uh, more hashtag bants. Um, it, it's going to be another great year. But Merry Christmas to all of you guys and um, have a happy new year too. Apparently, it has come down to just one vote. Oh, really? I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased I've taken it to, to, to one vote. The yes. winner by one vote. <laughs> Michelle! <gasps> no! I'm so pleased. That is brilliant. I finally won something. Yay! <laughs> we all go away happy here because I won the games. I got within one vote one of a crafty vote. expert and you have rightly won the crown of the year. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Have Thank a very Merry much. Christmas. Yes, yes. And see yes. you in the new year. Yes, you too. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to all of our team. Thanks to the team tonight as well. Thanks to Superstar Susie. Merry Christmas. Thanks to Jake. Thanks to Dean. Thanks to um, Jamie as well. Um, I've always said thanks to Jake. Oh, nobody ever listens. Maybe that will change in 2024. <laughs> Um, whatever you're doing, have a great time with your um, family and friend. And as I say, don't forget, if you are, um, you know, stuck for something to do this Christmas, uh, you can join us on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve for more fun and frolics. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm driving home in my crown. Uh, <laughs> until then, <laughs> see you in 2024. Bye.